Hey yo, what is up guys? Zane here. Welcome back to another video. I haven't posted on this channel in almost a whole year in song form. Um, and my short has been over about, I believe, seven months? Yeah, seven months now. But I am back and um, soon come are some songs. But for now, I want to talk about something that I just did this week. I just sung my first choir solo. And this is very important to me for many reasons. You will see it on Zanecraft in the future, um, coming soon, January. But for now, this is important for my growing music interest. One, I'm getting better at singing, so Space is going to be a good song when it releases soon. Um, and all the other ones will be too. So I'm getting better at that part. But two... I am getting better at controlling my stage fright, and that's what I'm here to talk about. How to beat stage fright. And this was very important for that reason. So, let's get into it. So, like I said, stage fright. This is the reason why I took the solo. So, first of all, taking the solo is good, so people can see like what you have and you could see what you have with like you know the crowd cheer and everything and like looking it back and I have notes on my solo at the very end but mostly I wanted to figure out my stage right because I have something big happening in January um and I wanted this as the first little test to go on so I had my first concert in um October right so that one was kind of a very first test because I haven't done a performance on a stage um, for school since um, 2020. Yeah, 2020. Very, um, it, might, it actually might have been 2019. Maybe. Maybe, maybe very early 2020. Anyway, anyway, regardless, I haven't done it in very long. So the first step was that part of uh, coming back on the stage. I did that performance, we did great. I was actually very excited, it worked out very well. But this second one, I had to do a solo. And this is the where it comes in. So I have to do a solo. That means me, no one else, just me and the piano. Gotta focus, make this sound good, right? So I go and um, I'm ready. So the, to talk this over, I practiced this for about five weeks. Anyway, I thought I perfected it to the core near the end, and I felt ready that uh, night. But going into the stage fright element, so I'm nervous and nervous and nervous while we're waiting to go on stage because I am the second song after our first song on stage. So I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous on the seats. And, um, you know, I'm enjoying all the other songs. They're doing great, great Christmas music. I loved what they did. All the uh, parts, just everything was great. Uh, so I was very nervous. But um, finally, when we got on there, um, the first song actually was the only part where I had stage fright. And I'll see if I can put this up here while I'm talking, but... Maybe you could see it. I'm not sure. You probably won't see it if I can't find any signs of it. But I was shaking. When I first got up there and when I first went to sing, I was shaking. I was nervous. My lip was quivering. My, I felt my body shake. I never shook like this in my life. I knew this was a sign of fear. I knew this was an afraid shake. I knew that this, that this was a shake of fear. I knew that what was going on was I was afraid. So I thought, oh no, this is gonna kick into my solo. But luckily not, luckily it um, faded away near halfway and I was fine. I finished that song off strong and I thought I did, I thought we all did very good. So then here we go into the next song, which is the one with my solo. To go over this, this song is called Ryu Ryu Chiyu. It is a um, Spanish song, and it is, um, you know, it's it's kind of like about God or stuff like that. Obviously, I'm out of the loop, but um, it was 
very, very, very good. It was good. It's a good song. And we had a lot to live up to. So we um, went up there. We were doing great. Um, one of my uh, choir mates, William, did awesome on his solo. And then it was my turn after him. So here I am going up to do it. Hear the song of hope come out in lyric form Like a whipper will who do weather through the storm Always look beyond, good is waiting through the wing When you find it, come, come and join it now and sing So there you go, there's me, and um, yeah, I thought I did a good job. I thought I did pretty all right. So the f the when I got home, right, uh, I obviously like, you know, I hung out, I uh, got these pictures, it was great. But um, when I got home, I was sitting there eating chicken and um, my mom put on where my solo was. So I was um, listening to it while eating and I thought I was a little too loud. I thought it was a little scratchy and I didn't know if I was really that good. But um, listening to it back today when my mom finally um, sent me the uh, recording, I thought I did a little better when you're just hearing it through the microphone on here. So I thought I did all right. And hey, I got a lot of praise from the people around me in my groups. My theater group thought I did great. My choir group thought I did great. My parents thought I did good. And my choir teacher thought I did good too. So in short, I thought I did all right. And hey, I'm gonna do a lot more solos. I'm gonna talk a lot about um, more things, but for now, um, I'll leave you off with this. This video is titled, How to Get Over Stage Fright. So here is how I did it. Here is how I went from shaky little McQuakey number third to um, actually doing the solo and not feeling anything and actually doing pretty all right with it. Which speaking of which, I give my solo a eight out of 10. I still need a little bit of work. But anyways, um, here is how to get over stage fright. Here is how you do it. So the first step is you got to focus, and this is even more prior in theater, you have to focus on the other things around you. You got to focus on something else. In choir, as you can see, I'm looking out towards the crowd, but really, my, it, it was actually, these might've helped me. So obviously I wear glasses, right? But not recently. So for every choir concert thus far, I put on glasses and I've been wearing these a lot more recently, but um, it actually saved me for the solo part because the light covered me up so I could only see one part of the crowd. So I'm like, okay, this is kind of like a class. But even then, I would just look towards like uh, um, the lights back there or something or just anything. Just look out. Don't really look towards the crowds or anything. They might give you anxiety. So just stare and just um, think there. Listen to the music. Do not listen to the chatter of the crowd too. So I was listening to that piano part the whole time. Um, and so I was listening to that part the whole entire time. Didn't focus on anything but her playing the piano. Um, and um, with theater, you can do that by just looking at, the, you know, the people you have to for the performance, right? You have to look at the people around you, around the performance, look at those people and focus on that more so than focusing on the crowd. So, um, and just like take deep breaths. Just know, hey, this is one experience. This isn't gonna ruin your life. You're gonna be okay. So anyways, guys, that is it. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you do. And yeah, songs are coming soon and I'm excited. Um, but uh, only time will tell. Um, so yeah, anyways, guys, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.